Welcome to Tizo Guitar. My name is Tyler Griffiths, and in today's lesson, we're gonna be learning five beginner guitar chords that you'll need to know as you begin your guitar journey. Matter of fact, the intro to this video uses all five of the chords that we're gonna be learning today. One of the most enjoyable things about guitar is being able to play along to your favorite songs. Once you learn these five chord shapes, you'll have a good foundation to start building on, and eventually you'll be able to play any song you like. Now that's enough talking, let's get right into it. All right, so really quickly, before we get into the actual chord shapes themselves, uh, you'll need to be familiar with a few terms. Uh, the first thing is when we're talking about finger placement on the fretboard, I might tell you to put your middle finger on the second fret of a certain string. So when I say second fret, these metal strips going down the, the neck of the guitar are the frets. So this would be the first fret, this would be the second fret. But when I tell you to put your finger on the second fret, I don't actually mean right on top like this. I'm referring to the space in between the first and the second fret. So this would be the second fret of our, our thickest string. All right, that's simple enough. And then when it comes to how the strings, uh, what the strings are called, for this lesson we're just gonna go with the numbering system. So the strings are numbered one through six, starting from the skinniest string up to the thickest. So the bottom string is the first string, the top string up here is the sixth string. All right. So with that being said, let's get into our first chord shape. Our first chord is going to be a C major chord. The way that we play that is we put our ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string, our middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and our index finger on the first fret of the second string. And we're only going to play from the fifth string down, like this. go ahead and zoom it in so you can see exactly where my fingers are just like that and that's our C major our second chord is going to be an A major the way that we play that is we're going to put our index finger on the second fret of the fourth string our middle finger on the second fret of the third string and our ring finger on the second fret of the second string playing from the fifth string down once more and I'll zoom in once more so you can see exactly I kind of have my fingers squished in there it's a tight fit but it works all right our third chord is going to be a G major the way that we play that is we're going to use our middle finger on the third fret of the sixth string our index finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and our ring finger on the third fret of the first string. And we're gonna play all six strings. And we'll zoom in so you can see exactly where my fingers are, which strings are holding down. And that's actually one of two ways you can play G. Um, that are in open chord form. What you can also do is move your pinky where your ring finger currently is, and then put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see that. And that also is a G major chord. So you could play whatever version is easier for you or whichever one you think sounds the best. Our fourth chord is going to be an E major. The way that we play that is we put our middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string, our ring finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and our index finger on the first fret of the third string, playing all the strings. That's your E major. And I'll zoom in once more. And that's where, my, that's where my hands are. And our fifth and final chord is going to be a D major. The way that we play that is we put our index finger on the second fret of the third string, our ring finger on the third fret of the second string, and our middle finger on the, the second fret of the first string. And this time we're only going to play from the fourth string down. Let's 
Let's get up close for this one once more. That's where my fingers are. Two of the most common issues that you're gonna run into are fret buzz and muted strings. All right, so some of the causes of that are for fret buzz in particular, sometimes that happens when you're not holding the string down um, hard enough. You shouldn't have to press down super hard, but you wanna make sure that there's contact between the, the fret, the actual metal fret, and the string that you're playing. If you leave, if you press down too lightly, it'll leave a little bit of a gap, and then the string will vibrate and knock against the fret and make that ugly sound. Uh, another issue could be that you're holding it too, holding your finger down too high on the fret, meaning if you're playing the third fret and you have your finger too close to the second metal fret, that could also cause the issue. So some of the best ways to um, avoid that are to keep your finger in the center of the fret or closer to the actual fret that you're playing. And the note should ring out clearly. And then for um, muted strings, right? That means that your finger is actually touching a string that it shouldn't be. So you wanna make sure that you're using your, the tip of your fingers to hold down the actual strings themselves. And then you wanna make sure that you're not letting any of your fingers rest on the next string over. If you keep, your, keep the strings clear of your other fingers, it'll ring out. It's gonna take some time to get used to um, all these different chord shapes and how to transition between them, but I definitely recommend taking your time. Maybe you only practice uh, one of the chords on a given day and just practice holding it down, playing your C major, lifting off, and then going back and trying to make that same shape and just practicing that over and over because the goal is to have muscle memory so you don't have to actually think about where your fingers are going. You just know the next chord you wanna to go to and you're familiar with holding that shape. And that's all you need to know. Now that's it for this lesson. If this video helped you in any way, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to give yourself some time to get these chords down. It will take a lot of practice and repetition, but the whole point is to practice each day and get a little bit better until you're able to play the chords with no problems. Um, thank you so much for watching. New videos drop every Sunday. So until next time, take care.